good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning to you all. Come on, internet, do your thing. Gonna straighten up my camera here. How are we all doing this morning on this lovely Sunday morning? It's a little bit um, overcast and boring here in Adelaide today, and I'm going to brighten up your Sunday with a frozen screen. No, not frozen. Alright, just bear with me a second guys while I try and see what's going on here. Click. Oh. Alright. I can see all your comments, I just can't. Oh, I'm just going to crack on into it, we're all good to go all right so welcome to the last day of the craft alive online show and our black friday big brand sale weekend so this weekend we have some fantastic specials uh we've had three days so far full of awesome specials and Today, we have got 20% off Dilutions on nataliemay.com.au and we have got 20% off of Paper Rose on nataliemay.com.au as well as 20% off of Paper Rose Uniquely Creative on nataliemay.com.au. So this is the perfect opportunity for you to stock up on those things that you need uh, and make the most of our generosity. Um, I'm just getting a couple of little stencils out here ready to go to make some magic. And I can't find the one that I need. So that's okay. I don't know why I don't put things away when I'm done. Oh, what a novelty that would be. Anyway, so there we go. So we have got all sorts of awesome things happening. And this is one of uh, three live Facebooks this weekend. So let's just crack into it. I'm working in my large Dilutions journal. And I'm going to create a bit of a page here using... Dilutions paints and Natalie May scrapbooking stencils, stamps and collage papers. So let's make a start here. I have got my Vibrant Beauty collage paper and I'm going to just start by tearing her away from the paper really I just want to and I want to tear it because I want it to uh, have a nice soft finish I don't want to cut I don't want to fussy cut it I just want to tear this morning and I'm only going to tear down one side simply because I'm going to offset her off the page I think so just by wetting the paper with the paintbrush is softening the fibers of the collage paper allowing it to tear effortlessly. It's a big word for the morning. And she's going to sit in here this morning like that. And in fact, I'm just going to tear her like so. 
So this is the Vibrant Beauty collage paper, which is, and yeah, 20% off. Sorry, 25% off. Gosh, I was feeling weak and generous, wasn't I? 25% off until the end of today. And I'm going to use some gel medium to stick that down to my page. Now, I'm just wanting to stick it on first before I add my paint because I've got a bit of an idea on what I want to do and I'm going to work around her. So I'm going to get my gel medium directly onto my page. So gel medium, of course, is the adhesive of choice. And I'm going to make sure she's all stuck down edge to edge. And go over the top with my gel medium to make sure it's all stuck down really very nicely. And I'm keeping the bird and a little bit of the feathers, but I'm kind of cutting off that back end. And what happened here? I lost my screen. Of course it did. There we go. Let's get that mouse out of the way so I don't accidentally knock it again. Right here go. There we go. So I'm just going to stick that down. I've got some gel medium going over the top to seal it. Pop the lid back on and I won't be requiring, oh yeah, I might use a bit more actually. Um, I'm not going too far outside of my collage paper. I'm just going to polish it in, polish out any lumps and bumps. Hey Louise, do you think you could grab me some paper towel please? Since I donated the last lot to you. <laughs> uh, I think there's some in the bathroom or on top of the kitchen cupboard. So just polishing it off like this just smooths out any air bubbles underneath and takes off any excess. Uh, I also will add a little bit of my Midi Alpha collage paper as well. So I'm going to tear horizontally to make sure that I'm getting the most, keeping my alphabets going the same way because I really am one of those ver those people that has to look at things straight on a page. Um, otherwise, I find things fight a little bit with your eyes. So I'm just going to stick those on, making sure that they go across the page. So this is one of my hand-drawn collage papers. So this one is, of course, as you can see, it's in my handwriting and it is something that I use, I like to use a lot for my backgrounds. So sticking that down with gel medium. Thanks for that. And I also like to have pointy bits at the end of my collage paper. Now, what that means is I don't like to have blunt edges like I have here. So in a minute, I'm going to be fixing that blunt edge that I just created. Because that annoys me. Good morning, Kerry ann Oh, thanks for the love, darling. I have enjoyed it. Sunday, Sunday's always the hardest day. Sunday's always a bit of a struggle when you do, what have I done? How many lives have I done? Three, four, fours are 12, 13 live Facebooks so far in the last couple of days. So I am um, I'm feeling, feeling the love. Love giving back to you guys by giving you these little free mini classes. Of course, you can also jump online and sign up to the Natalie May scrapbooking classes uh, as well. We have a special running at the moment where you can purchase your classes, your online classes for next year. 
and we have an excellent special going where if you purchase all 12 classes in advance, you get a discount. So that special will be available up until the end of December. All right. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to rinse off my brush straight away because, of course, we don't want to let gel medium dry on your paintbrush because it will just stick your paintbrush bristles together and it is then as good as dead. Right, I'm quickly just gonna use a baby wipe just to take off any excess gel medium. I seem to be a little heavy handed with my gel medium this morning. So I'm just wanting to take any excess off before I dry it and that will speed up the drying process. It's not, um, not changing the page at all uh, but it and then I have to dry it off but it's just going to speed up the drying process by doing that so the large dilutions journals are available on special for today so if you feel that you need to add another journal to your collection today would be the day to do it it won't be on special tomorrow let's just say that Tomorrow we are back to regular programming. So welcome to all of you just tuning in. My name is Natalie May and this is just a free live little mini class that we are creating here in, a, in, in an art journal. So we are using the Natalie May Scrapbooking collage papers, which are color paper, collage papers that I've designed uh, and released in my name. And they are currently 25% off until the end of today. So I'm just going to trim that off so that I can see my boundaries. Right. Let's talk about paint. I do love some paint um, and I'm going to swatch my paints first. No, I'm not. Let's just crack into it. It's Sunday. Let's just give it a go. Stay paper towel everywhere. I do have some of my stencils handy here and I have a couple of stamps handy. But what I also have here is a little basket of the Dilutions paints. And I want to add a, a nice range of paint to my background. I'm going to be super loose and super swipey. I'm just opening a new bubblegum pink here because I didn't have one in my collection. So when you open up a new one, just don't get caught out. Stop and take off this guy. We all get caught out. And I know that that one is a new one. And I think I just opened a yellow one as well. Oh, good morning, Linda Pearson. Thank you very much. All right, so here we go. I'm just wanting to get some loose color on today. So what that means is I'm going to use my palette knife my catalyst tool, my, my favorite tool to use, and I'm just gonna swipe on some color. Now, I am gonna be quite loose and put it straight onto my palette knife like this, and I'm using the back of my palette knife to swipe it up and down, and I'm leaving a little bit of white space, so I'm making sure that I am not covering my entire project, but leaving some white space top and bottom. So instead of using a paintbrush today, I am enjoying my Sunday session, relaxing and adding in lots of different colors. So I'm gonna to head towards this pink and this teal, but I'm gonna bring those colors up and build up those colors. So the next color I'm adding in is the Dilutions Pure Sunshine. And, and I am giving them a good shake before using them, which is always recommended. They, If we're posting them out to you and they travel, 
then of course you're going to need to make sure you really give them a good shake before using. I Mine have been sitting here in my paint storage, so I like to make sure that I um, mix all that paint together nicely. Now with my catalyst tool, I am using the flat edge, okay? So that I don't get weird lines and I'm just doing a tiny, tiny little dob on here. And it actually speeds, because I'm not using a whole lot of paint, it's not gonna take very long to dry. And I'm gonna take off any excess here and quickly dry that off before I add my next color because I'm thinking I'm, I'm wanting to add a couple of teal colors, but I don't wanna put teal and greens over the top of, over the top of orange because if I mix those together, they're gonna to go a bit, you know, gross for lack of a better term. So this is a really, really simple art, art journaling technique. We're going across a double page in my journal. I'm going to, uh, we're going to create a bit of colour. Now, I have got Vibrant Turquoise. They do have a ball in them, so you can give them a shake. Now, these are the flat magical, uh, the flat magicals, the flat plain dilutions paints. So these are not the shimmers. I may have a bit of a play with the shimmer a little bit later, but today I'm just going to, this morning I'm just going to use the planes. I do love the shimmers, but not all the time. There we go. Quite swipey, swipey. And I'm just going to take it up over here. Now I'm going to add another colour as well. Let's go with Polish Jade. Polish Jade's a beautiful colour. Well, that's a lot. Right, let's commit. And this is going to, I want the, the, this colour here will sit over the top, but this, uh, the colours here are all just kind of slide to the background. And definitely what's making it work is the drying, making sure that the orange was dry before we put on this green so we didn't muddy those up. And I'll do the same in a moment. I will dry these off and that's way too much paint. There we go. And because I'm working on a journal that has got a little bit of a bend in it, I'm just getting my finger in there to mix that up. Uh, I will be also adding some depth. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of Balmy Night, which is kind of like a blue gray and I really love this. Now, my collage paper is still there. And at this point, it might be a good opportunity to grab some stencil and a baby wipe. Yeah, there we go. And rub it back a little bit. If you do it over the wet paint, you get this really amazing easy or easy effect like that. A bit more paint. I'm going to go on the edges, connecting it to the edge of my page. May have been a little heavy handed with my paint this morning. I see that that might be a bit of a pattern for today. Rubbing it back. Coolio. 
Right, now I need to pop some on this side. Yeah, the colours are really intense. Um, Linda's just commented saying, love the intensity of these colours. I do as well. They are... They differ, Dilusions paints are gorgeous and they differ from say Dina Wakeley paints or Art by Marlene paints because they are a little bit more fluid than those particular brands. So they go on a lot differently um, and they tend to flow a little bit better. And I really quite like that about these paints. The color range is different from those other brands as well. They This Balmy Night color, for example, is, is certainly not available in some of the other brands that we use and um, and that is quite a, a unique thing as well. Now I'm just going to do a little finger painting now because I'm going to come into this area here close to my collage paper. So to do that I'm going to put it on with my finger and then just do that. Now where it covers over the top there I can just finger dab that off and I'm going to hit that with a heat gun and dry it before I add some pink. So I've started to get this really interesting background going on and this is the ugly layer I guess. Um, quite often when I'm art, doing art journal projects I build colour, I build colour up. So I'm going to start with Creating an ugly layer first of, um, before I build up to the finished project. See, I haven't added any of that pink or purple in yet, but I've got some touches of this green coming in. It's just part of the layers. Uh, where did that pink go that I put somewhere here? Right, so I've got bubblegum pink and I have got funky fuchsia. Shake, shake, shake. I think my funky fuchsia is almost empty. But, and I'm putting them on here first just so that I can see what the colours look like before I put them onto my page. Now, putting them onto my page, I need to make sure everything else is completely and totally dry because I'm putting pinks and purples over the top of oranges and yellows which will muddy up and make something that you might not necessarily like. So I'm getting my paint on and I'm just going to add this awesome pop of colour really loosely over my page in a, it almost gives like a fluoro sort of effect. A bit of pink in there as well. And I will be adding some stamping. As well to this page. So we're building up some great layers of colour. It's all about being a little bit brave and knowing also how your colours will react together as well. So again, mixing colours and putting colours on top of each other while they are wet is just going to make mud. So it's just being confident and going, you know what, I just need to hit that with a heat gun and dry it off before you go to the next stage um, will make a huge difference. Now, as I'm getting in close to her face, I'm going to... And I know it's, it's how happening here. I'm going to get some pink over the top here. I'll tie her in so she's not just planted at the end of the page there. And then I'm going to add 
clean off that. Add, uh, so add some heat to it and dry it off and then add a little bit of stamping. So it's all coming together as a pink. Yeah, so Linda's just comment, the pink is making the yellow behind it pop. It certainly is, and that's because it's a contrasting color. It's a color that is going to stand out and it's gonna pop. wonder where my I've got it in my head that I need my all the dots stencil but do you think I can find it just let me let me pull out my pile of stencils oh I reckon I know where it is in my could you please open up that one of those journals over there on the shelf and see if you can find my all the dot stencils it is in with the December art journal class page I remembered where it is I reckon it's in that one which one no not that one the other one <laughs> Okay, a little bit of dampness there, but that's okay. Let's add a little bit of stamping now. So some stamping, I'm going to add some stamping in colour. I'm going to, it's all right, I'll have a look in a sec. Oh, you got it, you're a champion. I'm going to use the, thanks babe. I'm going to use the archival mini inks and add a little bit of colour here. So instead of going for black, which is what I would normally do, I'm going to use my, so this one is the Don't Overthink stamp set that I bought out a little while ago, and I'm gonna stamp some colour onto my background. I'm doing this off stamping technique so that it is, yeah. And I actually told you, Linda, the wrong stencil. Um, it's the double dots that I'm using. Just keeping you on your toes, babe. Sorry. All right, so adding some color in here, building my background. So this is a hot pink picked raspberry archival ink. And perhaps some yellow. No, yeah. Yellow in a different stamp. I am nailing the messy layout this morning, I can tell you. Won't let you down again. And I will bring all of this up to camera in a moment so you can have a good look because all of these little details are not showing up great on camera, but they look pretty good here on the page. Well, I think they do anyway. And this would have worked so much nicer if my stamp was clean, but we're going to commit to it because that is what my art journal is all about. It's about popping something on the page and committing to it and loving what you do because it's about the creative process, not necessarily about what every Tom, Dick and Harry thinks about your page. And that's really, really important to me. It's about learning to create and accept colour 
and the process. So that is fossilised amber. And lastly, I'm going to add in some orange. No, I'm not. I've had a better idea. I'm going to add some peeled paint with my hand-drawn leaves. Which, as you can see, is one of my very, very well-used stamp sets. And I'm even going to put this on an acrylic block. And it's creating a little bit more interest in what's going on in the background. It's just adding these interesting little pops of colour. I need to get into this gap in here, so I'm making sure that I do that. Thank you. So Linda has been commenting and popping the links into the comments. So if there is something that you are looking for, you will find scrolling up through the comments, you will find what you need in the way of links and products. Okay, so if there's something you go, oh, I think I need that, then just scroll up and we can make that magic happen. And now I'm gonna pop them back on my block and I'm gonna stamp across the bottom of my page. And then I'm gonna run some white dots through the middle to help tone it back before finishing off by adding my title oh there's so much color going on here I love it and you can see that I'm kind of off stamping which means that I'm putting the first inky one down and then I'm stamping it again so that I get more of a loose stamp image. I get a shadowed effect. Lit on and knowing when to stop. Okay, I'm going to bring it up to camera so you can have a bit of a look before I add the white on it. So you see that green, you can see the yellow in the stamping, the pink stamping, all of these messy, messy layers, okay? It's coming together. Right, let's do that, let's do that. Put some lids on things before it goes bad. Uh, I don't have any white paint handy, but what I do have is some gesso, and that's going to work in a very, very similar fashion. Um, I'm going to scrape some of this paint off of my mat so I don't contaminate. And again, I'm using the Ranger blending tool with the blending foam, and I want to use my All The Dots stencil. Let's find a clean spot. Big dots. Big dots and a baby wipe handy. Right, I'm gonna run this through the middle. And I want it to be shadowed. I don't want it to be super strong white and I certainly am not looking for an edge to edge sort of finish. I am looking for something just to tone it back. Okay, I'm gonna line up, do it again. Perfect. I'm just going to be a little bit gentle here with my middle seam to make sure that 
that works. Now, putting white over the top of anything vibrant pink or red uh, is really quite difficult. It's not going to stay white. What tends to happen is the pigment comes through. No matter how dry it is, you will always get the pigment coming through. It's just one of those things that happens that you just have to accept. It's not going to be perfect white. Now I'm just gonna pop it over there as well to help tie her into the page and also bring some down here to take the focus away from this line. Bless you, Lou, bless you. <laughs> you good? Bless you. Right, like that. I can go back and intensify some of my dots, but they are still going to come in with a, a lot of pink pigment coming through. Good morning, Naomi. How are you feeling this morning? All right, so adding, you can see now that adding the dots over the top kind of takes away from all of that messy that's going on underneath and it takes the focus away. So we're finishing that, that final layer with a super simple, consistent dot that runs all the way across, okay? Right, there we go. I uh, feel like I need to pop some through. So I'm not going for a super strong white, I'm just going for a really lovely shadowy sort of white. Lid on and I'm going to finish it off with some black splatter. Black and white give dimension, so I've added my white, but now I need to add that black for dimension. So that will come in the way of, I've got some black marble dilutions paint, giving it a really great shake. And that's way too much paint on there, but you get the picture. And I'm going to use my paintbrush and just give it a little bit of water to tone it, or to make it a little bit more fluid. I'm not wanting any, I'm not wanting any splatters over my face or my girl, my girl's face, over my face either, actually, to be honest. So I'm going to cover her and I'm going to cover my bird. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to smoke his tap. Knowing when to stop, also important. And I'm running that through the middle. So when you're doing this, don't be wearing a white t-shirt. Just, just, just saying. Just saying, that was just doing the mum thing. Speaking of mum thing, is my daughter watching? Are you out of bed yet? I know it's Sunday and all, but you are working today. Right. I do need to add a little bit of black splatter on here for balance. So I'm going to cover her up and just do that and I'm going to hit that with a heat gun and dry it off. So Linda's just commented saying love the leaves falling out of the colour. So you can notice the leaves now can't you? Now as soon as you add a little black and white for dimension certain things seem to come through to the forefront and that's where creating a, a journal page with this sort of you know building a background 
looks really, really interesting. And it's all about building your layers. I'm not gonna add to anything to her face to highlight her or add any color or anything because she started off in color, so I don't need to add any more. Okay, just not, like I said, knowing when to stop and having a little bit of restraint it is part of the fun. So just heat setting these black dots so that they don't smudge too much when I go and add my title. And what am I going to add for a title? I would love a big white, a big white word. I might just have to go and have a bit of a hunt for some white alphas. What do you think? I think a big white word will stand out beautifully. So just give me a moment and I'm gonna put cover that up before it ends up on the back of my arm. Does anybody else have this problem? First world problems. I have a pile of titles and alphas. Sentence builders, I call them. Actually, these are from Uniquely Creative. These are, have got an excellent price point. You could add one of these to your page for, uh, and build a phrase. Um, I've had this basket of... I've had... I've got five of these baskets, let's be honest. Um, I think black's going to disappear, but I do have some uniquely creative white alphabets, so I might build a sentence that way. Packets of thickers, get them out, play with them. Oh, look at that, Kerry Ann's come in already with a word, with a phrase for me. Live your life in colour. It's a bit deep for a Sunday morning, isn't it, doll? So I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to go. Oh, actually. I'm going to go for a slightly longer phrase this time. So these are... Alphas from Uniquely Creative, and I don't even know if I'm going to have enough here, but B, any white alphas are going to be a, uh, a the perfect addition to your crafting stash, no matter what because you can make them any colour you like. Whoops, I've got these little bits stuck on my nails now. So what plans do people have for this beautiful Sunday? Hanging out with me, doing a little online shopping, spending time with your family, creating. Right, how are we going for time? Oh, 45 minutes, nailing it. Okay. I don't care that they're not straight because that's not what it's about. But if you want to make it straight, you certainly can. Oops.
Have I spelled anything wrong so far? Because, you know, that's a thing. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. In fact, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Okay. I'm really liking this page. It's it's all come together beautifully. Let's have a bit of a zoom up and we'll go through some of the processes again. It is a hot mess, but it all works really, really, really well. Every now and again, I surprise myself, I have to say. No, actually, it's all pure talent. Okay, so... We started out, I did a little bit of gesso in the background um, just to add some whiteness to the page uh, and to seal it a little. I then added my collage paper and I added some alphabet collage paper through as well. Um, that bit annoys me now, but that's okay. We then used a Dilusions paints, which are 20% off today. And we swiped our color on using the catalyst tool and not a paintbrush. And what that does is creates fantastic texture to our page that looks really, really great. We then used stencils and a baby wipe to rub that back. We used my Alpha Arty Alphas, which you can see a bit through there, and added some stamping as well. So in the stamping, we used archival ink in pink, yellow, and green, those little leaves popping up through there look good and they all balance in and tie in together we used a white sorry we used gesso through my double dot stencil all the way across the middle to condense it all to take your eye away from oh. why is he talking to me stop talking buddy um so yes ran that through the middle and add some black splatters to balance the black that's in our image and a big white bold sticker title. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take some photographs of this, um, upload it to YouTube, pop a photo on the Facebook page for you to have, have a bit of a look at and jump online to nataliemay.com.au. Grab yourself some Dilutions products at 20% off, some paper rose stencils, stamps, papers, cre uniquely creative products, stencils, stamps, papers, stickers. Um, they're all 20% off until the end of today. And the Natalie May scrapbooking products like what we've used here and our stencils, you can also get those at 25% off until the end of today. So I hope I didn't make that look too difficult or tricky I think that the colors and everything has worked really really nicely I look forward to seeing you again at 1 30 for another live Facebook thanks guys bye